Hi there. Now in this question, part A, we've got to find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion 1 plus a x all to the power 7, where a is a constant. And we've got to give each term in its simplest form for four marks. So if you'd like to try this first part, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, for part A then, we've got to use the binomial expansion to expand 1 plus ax to the power 7. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with this. You can always check out my tutorials on my website. But uh, we've got two options for this. We could either use this particular formula or we could use the combinations formula. And I'll show you both methods. If I was given the choice, though, for this particular one, I would use this top version of the formula. 1 plus a all to the power n, then, is identical to what we have here. And for this one, the a is really the term ax, and n is the 7. So if we're using that formula, it's going to be identical, then, to 1 plus n times a. So that would be 7 times ax. So it would be 7 multiplied by ax. And then for the next term, the third term in, it's going to be plus n times n minus 1. So that would be 7 times 6. And that's divided by 2 factorial. OK. And it's multiplied by a squared, a this time being all of ax. So that's ax all squared. And then we've got plus again for the final term now, the fourth term. It's going to be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 there. So it's going to be 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5. And it's divided by 3 factorial. And then we multiply this by a cubed, but that will be ax in this example, all cubed. So it's important to have the ax part all in a bracket, OK? Don't forget, although we're asked to do up to the first four terms, don't forget to put plus and three dots there for and so on. Now you could use the combinations formula if you wanted to. If you did, the a here would correspond to the 1, the b would be ax, and the n would be the 7. So if we put or here, OK, or you could have done it using that formula, and you would have got this, that this was identical to nc0, well it will be 7c0, OK, we'll write it with the c there, OK, 7c0 a to the power n, so a being the 1 in this example, so it's 1 to the power 7, and then you multiply it by b to the power 0, b being the ax, so it's ax all to the power 0. Remember, when you're using this, always these two powers add up to n, so 7 and 0 add together to give the 7 here. We go on to the next term, it's 7c1. We reduce the power on the 1 down to a 6 now and increase the power on ax by 1. So it's ax to the power 1. And again, these two add up to 7. Third term is 7c2. Then it'd be 1 to the power 5 and then ax to the power 2. Again, 5 and 2 adding to 7. The fourth term will be 7c3, and then it'll be 1 to the power 4, and then ax all cubed. And again, don't forget to put plus and so on. So whichever one of these that you work with, you should end up with exactly the same answer. And if I work off this top one, you'll see that we get 1, and then plus 7ax, and then for this one, 2 factorial is 2 times 1 or 2. 2 will go into 6 3 times, so 7 threes are 21. So you're going to get 21. And this part here will be a squared x squared. 
And for this one here, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. It will cancel with that 6 there, leaving you with 7 fives, which are 35. So you're going to have plus 35, and then you're going to have a cubed, x cubed. And again, plus and so on. So hopefully that will show you how you can do it by either of these two methods. Now, in part b, we're told that the coefficient of x squared in this expansion is 525. And we've got to find the possible values of a for two marks. So, if you, again, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay then, welcome back if you had a go. So, for this one, the coefficient of x squared, well, that's going to be 21a squared. So we've therefore got 21a squared is going to be equal to 525. Well, clearly, if I divide by 21, that will give me a squared. So it follows that a squared will equal 525 divided by 21, which comes to 25. And so from this, it follows that if we square root both sides, a would be equal to not only 5, it does say possible values of a, it would be plus or minus 5. Okay?